Hello everyone, happy new year. So a special channeling today. This is sort of a, a comparative channeling between Copper Knight, also known as Copper Light, and New Might. Copper Knight has been misidentified uh, and sold as New Might uh, online and in shops uh, by many, no doubt, accidentally. You might have purchased a piece of this uh, online or at your local spiritual sh store, uh, having been told that it was New Might when in fact it's Copper Knight. Uh, from the research I've done at the time that I'm recording this anyway, there it's been debated in terms of you know, what Copper Knight is. Some have identified it as a granite, a form of granite. Some have identified it as sort of a, a lower, uh, less quality, if you will, uh, uh, version or formation of New Might. Uh, in a very simple sort of layman terms way, the, the way to, to sort of differentiate between the two, Copper Knight is a deep black crystal that has flashes, copper flashes in it. Whoop copper chunky flashes in it. Uh, whereas New Might, uh, I heard a beautiful description of New Might is it's more like a, a meteor shower. You've got these lines of, of, of color and flash going through it. Uh, it has uh, usually has some more blue color in it as well. Um, so that's that's the differentiation very simply uh, to look into the mineralogy of it more I encourage you go to to go to mindat.org or to minerals.net you can see photos you can see comparisons uh, and what people have to say uh, but the reason I wanted to do this today is I wanted to do a comparative channeling in terms of the energies in terms of the frequencies what is the difference? Because you may very well have a piece of this in your collection. It's not a fake. It is a real thing. It is a real mineral. It's just been, as I said, misidentified. Well, what do you do with it? How do you work with it? And how does it compare or differ from the energy of Numite? So first, I'm going to, I'm going to put the copper, copper knight down. I'm going to channel uh, directly from the moon night, Numite. And I'm just going to do a few minutes of this. So I'm just going to tune in here. And immediately what I feel is a very strong, very direct, very potent energy and frequency of new might coming in. I feel it up here in the third eye crown. I also feel it down in the root. Uh, 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 and you know, new might is one of the star seed crystals. It's very much about, you know, that, that cosmic connection, that old universal knowledge and spirit connection, as well as the deep grounding in the earth, the earth frequencies, the earth knowledge and wisdom. It's a way for us to walk on the earth in a way that is in alignment with our true selves, our higher selves, our soul, <coughs> but also earth energy and frequency. It helps people to establish a rhythm, a pattern, a cycle, um, and a connection to earth energy and wisdom. So especially for people who feel like they find the density and the realities of life on earth harsh, difficult to adjust to. If you find that you have a lot of trouble just managing being a human being on this planet, which I think most of us feel at some time or another, uh, especially lately, it helps you bring to it, it helps bring you into this. It helps bring you into your deeper majesty, your deeper magic, your deeper mystery. This is definitely a magician stone. Magicians, you know, that 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 we're not talking about stage magicians here, but the the magi, the magical folk, the magical workers who transform either alchemically through a herb through uh, mineral, through applications of matter uh, uh, and gas and vapor, as well as those who transform spiritually, working with light, working with energy, working with lighter density. Um, so this is a crystal that brings you back into your mastery, that brings you back on your path, that helps you to powerfully move forward. People who feel stuck, who feel stymied, who feel caught or lost, 
in this life who feel frustrated, who feel like they have potential that they can never tap, uh, they can never seem to move forward, they haven't fully discovered themselves, their path, their purpose, you know, what they're meant to be, who they're meant to be, who are looking not just for a spiritual awakening, but an internal activation that helps them come into more of their becoming and their fulfillment. Uh, this is some of the work and some of the energy that you can tap into through New Might, and I already feel... Um, I feel powerfully, energetically charged. I feel uh, uh, transformed inside, just in a different state of being, just from a few minutes of holding um, that deeply, deeply, deeply powerful crystal. Okay, shake it off. And so now I'm transitioning into uh, tuning in from the Copper Knight. And let's see what comes through here. Let's see what changes or shifts. So interestingly enough, I feel this energy flow through uh, my sacral and solar plexus chakra. So this is definitely uh, uh, first and foremost coming through in, in a lower uh, chakra, more physical um, experience in the body, physical experience in the energy. I'm also feeling it pick up in the heart. And one of the first things that it's it's telling me and that I, it, I'm feeling is that it helps you to shift feelings of heaviness, density, again, interestingly enough, in the energetic field, um, in the aura, but specifically relating to um, emotional energy, emotional heaviness. Uh, it helps us again i'm feeling this this again this this panel or this channel this this uh, sort of middle line if you will of light of energy of beingness it helps you to come back into center so for people who are being you know feeling really spun out feeling really stressed have a dog that's barking like a madman in the background <laughs> i apologize for that we're having a dog moment with the copper knight um, um, it helps to bring you back into center. It helps to instill a feeling of calm, of presence, and of purpose. And so there are definitely some similarities that I'm seeing here, but it's different. This is, is, is definitely um, more of a gentle energy. It's got more of a flow, whereas New Might felt like a very powerful charge right away. It felt very obelisk. Um, in terms of its energy, in terms of its directional energy, whereas this um, piece feels more flow. It feels uh, more flow, more wavy. Uh, uh, it has more of a gentleness to it. So there's definitely that. It's definitely not as strong a frequency as I would say as potent. Um, a frequency, but it feels very soothing. It feels very soothing and calming again to the emotional self. And so this is a crystal that can help you to process. You know, if you've been through a lot emotionally, which I think pretty much everyone has, you know, especially this past year, if you've been through a lot emotionally, there's been a lot of lessons, a lot of change, a lot of things that you have to take in and process. This helps you to do it in a way that's in alignment with yourself. Uh, 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 you know, if you've gotten a ruffled emotional body, it helps bring that back into alignment, it helps you bring back into center and into this internal awareness so that you can process what you've been through. You can embody what you've been through. You can learn from what you've been through. So this is, you know, a, a crystal that can come help you come back into um, a place of, uh, I guess, peace and, and, and a greater feeling of wholeness within. So um, that's that again, just just a quick channeling, but just just a sort of a differential between the two. So new might is the powerhouse that we've read about, you know, this this majestic magi magical crystal that's really deep you could probably work with just new might for the rest of your life and go through incredible uh, uh patterns and cycles of shift evolution growth realization transmutation uh very powerful um, and then with the copper knight, the copper knight you can work with to help you feel more calm and centered emotionally, to help you feel more embodied, whole, grounded in your body, and to help you learn and process uh, your experiences, especially those that have been channeling, uh, challenging, 
la la challenging um, um, or or transformative in a way that maybe doesn't always necessarily feel positive, but even big stuff, you know, uh, that are good things we still need to process and, and channel. So that's the channeling. Um, I hope that that was uh, a little bit enlightening, illuminative of, of service to you. Um, feel free to, to leave comments or questions in the comments area. Um, if you'd like to learn more about my work, you can go to my website, krista dash mitchell.com and of course if you haven't already please do subscribe or keep returning back to this channel because i've got more videos and crystal uh wonderfulness on the way blessings